There are tons of variables in bass fishing, but none are as important and have as much effect on the fish as the weather. You know, it, when we look at weather as, as fishermen, most of us look at it too broadly. We look at the, the five-day pattern or the three-day pattern or how the weather is that day. But the best fishermen are the ones that make little small adjustments on the water hour to hour. If it's partly cloudy and you're catching on a, on a, a jerk bait and it clouds up and gets real rainy, you may have to go to a spinner bait to get those fish to keep biting. Those are the kind of adjustments that you've got to be willing to make during the day. Color changes, uh, uh, size of the lure, there's a lot of different things that can make a day successful as the weather's changing. When it comes to wind, wind is probably one of the biggest determining factors in how a bass is going to feed that day. Uh, whether it, probably where it comes into most play is when you're fishing clear water situations, uh, meaning it's a three foot to 20 foot visibility type of reservoirs or river systems. Uh, just for the fact that uh, it pushes, the wind is going to push bait into a pocket if you have it. Uh, it also breaks up light penetration. Uh, so the fish don't feel as spooky. Uh, they'll actually come up shallower. Uh, where, if he has, where if you have no wind whatsoever, uh, it's just slick, calm, light penetration goes deep. Fish are going to push down deep. So use wind to your advantage. Uh, most people try to hide from the wind a lot of times a year. Uh, but I would say from uh, post-spawn all the way through into the fall, your windy shorelines are going to be some of your best fishing you can possibly find. Uh, so use wind to your advantage because it moves the bait uh, breaks up light penetration and tends to make fish more aggressive uh, and much and, and be able to fish a lot shallower. A big variable in bass fishing obviously is water clarity. You know the bass has to be able to see a lure before he can eat a lure. And I look at the water and try and pick my lures accordingly. There's two things I'm looking at. One is lure color and one is the amount of sound that the lure is going to make. Those are the most two important things. If I'm fishing really really clear water a lot of sounds not really necessary, but I like to have a real flashy bait, a, a real bright silver or, or white, something that's going to draw a lot of attention to the bait. If it's muddier water, then I'm going to want more sound and a, more of an opaque color. You know, your chartreuses and your oranges and things like that are going to be most effective. So picking the color according to the water is very, very important. I don't pay no attention to none of that junk. I strictly think that the weather influences the speed of your retrieve. If it's very cold, the fish are very cold, you are very cold, fish slow. That's all you have to remember, that the fish feel the same thing that you're feeling. And when you think about it like that, it gets kind of simple bass fishing. If you're hot, they're hot. You can reel a lure fast, they'll go get it. If they're cold, they're not gonna chase it like that. Simply remember, the fish are just as cold as you are, just as hot as you are. The only thing the weather dictates is the speed of your retrieve 90% of the time. Most bass fishermen have a certain technique that they gravitate to. For some, it might be worm fishing. For others, it might be top water. For me, it's shallow cranking. But the one thing that you've got to have in your technique and in yourself is confidence. That's one of the biggest keys to success as a bass fisherman. Listen to what Gerald Swindle has to say about confidence and how it affects his bass fishing. You know, when you look at a professional tackle box and you look for the number one lure in there, is there one thing that makes him better than the, the average angler? Is there anything that separates him from another man? The thing I think separates myself and any other angler from maybe going to the top or staying in the middle of the pack is confidence. And it's not a boasty confidence. It's not get out on the boat ramp and beat your chest and say, I'm going to beat everybody here. I caught 40 pounds in practice because anybody can win practice. It's a cheap deal. There's nothing involved. Confidence is something that's stored in the heart and in the mind. It's a sense of I'm in control of my game. I work hard. In my head, I'm confident that I can compete with any other angler in the world. To me, that's the number one bait in a pro's tackle box. There's a lot of truth to that saying, confidence is the best lure in your tackle box. That's especially true on those days when you've got nasty weather and you're out there in a the tournament um, and you're only looking for five bites. You've got to have confidence in your technique you know, and, and confidence in yourself because it could be one of those days where you just you might only get you know, four or five bites, but those five bites are crucial bites. I mean, they could be all five pounders and be a, a tournament winning stringer. So having confidence in your ability and your technique is, is crucial. You know, there's a lot of things that are changing in bass fishing, but there's a lot of things that are still the same and, and uh, you know, remain today. You know, the, the foundation of bass fishing, you know, confidence in certain techniques and the elements of bass fishing, those are all things that are never going to change and that you always have to pay attention to.